question for you, Bill, about um, that you had talked about it sort of admitting we were wrong as being very important. Um, there were a couple statements basically saying, well, that's never going to happen. Um, and a question basically saying, given the unlikelihood of our admitting that we're wrong, would you still um, endorse a, a quiet withdrawal? How important is admitting that we were wrong? How important is that to our withdrawal? Well, I don't think, I think <laughs> if you look at, over the long stretch of history, uh, there have been many occasions in which the United States government has finally admitted it was wrong, uh, but not in the moment. Um, if you look at the Japanese internment, um, if you look at uh, uh, the wars on the people in this country, if you look at slavery itself, there are things that we now actually consider, you know, evil uh, that were part of the policies of this country. So I don't think it's impossible for anyone to admit they're wrong. In fact, I think that's sort of the way life moves forward uh, is we admit our mistakes and move forward. I think it's important here uh, because we continue to see ourselves as the arbitrators of this when we are really causing uh, a great deal of human suffering day after day after day in families throughout Afghanistan. And it's very important for us to apologize for that as we leave. Um, and uh, that means admitting that we chose the wrong course of action. And I think um, it's not likely, um, maybe so. But that doesn't mean it is something that we as a people should demand of our government. Um, and maybe the message would get to the people that need to hear that in Afghanistan and Iraq and Somalia and Yemen and uh, Pakistan will hear it from the American people if the American government finds itself incapable of saying we were wrong. But eventually they will. I mean, look at Vietnam. The government resisted to the final moment, to the last soldier, you know, and civilian jumping on, on helicopters to get out of there, that it was the right course of action. And now history is proven, and no, you know, forward looking politician would ever campaign on the fact that that was the right course of action uh, uh, in Vietnam. 58,000 U.S. citizens and upwards of 2 million Vietnamese killed. Um, and on kind of a similar 